Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and this is going to be a video on the envelope tool. I've, I've done a couple envelope videos, but never to this depth. So I've just typed out some text, and all you do to find the envelope tool is right here in this flyout. Now, yours might say drop shadow because that's the top one. And, but if you've used the envelope tool, it's right there. It's under the blend and distort. So there's your envelope tool. And what it does, it, it gives you an envelope of these lines, light blue dotted lines with uh, eight nodes. One, two here, and three on each end. Now, this, these windows pop up when you're in the envelope mode. Here's unconstrained. So you can pull that node and put it anywhere you want because it, you don't, it's not constrained. You can use a straight line and it constrains you to the center. You can, you can move your mouse either way, but it only goes straight up and down. Now, another one I really like to do is hold down the shift key. And while you're under, it won't work on nothing constrained, but go to straight line, hold down the shift key. That's a pretty, not a pretty neat envelope. So back up here, go to single arc. Hold down, you can hold down the shift key or not. And what it's doing, a single arc is just an arc where that node and that node are arcing together. Let's back up here. Now we're going to have a double arc. In a double arc, these nodes are being held. So they're not you know, if you just kept going, these, this doesn't swoop where the other one is swooping. Now, if you ever want to get rid of that, you want, you don't want that envelope. You've done a lot of work. You can just clear envelope and it'll put you back where you were. Anyway, I think I'm going to make, make a couple of videos on this to make them a little shorter. So that's the envelope tool. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.